Well, we just had a little take on this rod here. I'm out at Wollongong Fad. It's very quiet at the moment, but uh, still a couple of boats around. Here we go. A bit of a knock. Hopefully we'll get something to take it properly. Big lump of squid on this. Not sure. Yeah, something's trying to have a go. Come on, take it properly. Something inquiring. Oh, I have my first dolly. It's, a, it's only a little one, it's just a pup. Not the looks of things. I'll get him over here. Lighten up the water, pretty fish. And he's just a tiny one. Come on, I'll pick him. I might. Do I need the landing net? He's going skits. Let's see if I can get him in. Made a bit of a mess of that, but there you go. There's a little dolphin fish. A little dolly. Beautiful fish. Check out those colours. <laughs> Blood everywhere. What a what a show. I know. Check that out. Beautiful. Greens and blues and yellows. Really pretty fish. He's well hooked. Now, the dolphin fish has a minimum size of 60 centimeters. And this one, he is 50, 52, 53. So too small. There. There's a close look of him. There you go, back he goes. Beautiful. Let's try for some more. Let's hit another one. I'm not sure whether it's hooked up. Uh, the mutton birds are going crazy. No, it's off. Would have brought that to the surface and then the mutton birds are all over it. So I didn't hook up that time. I think I was too busy trying to get the camera started. These mutton birds are everywhere and they are the biggest pain. Steal your bait as it's dropping. Okay. Well, the dollies are around now. I think they're all pretty small, but anyway. Fish is a fish today. All right, so it looks like one undersized dolly is all we're gonna get from the fad today. So um, I'm just gonna head back into a little bit of ground. I found it's still quite deep. It's around about sort of 90, 95 meters, but there's just a bit of change of structure. It looks like there's a bit of rubble on the bottom. Um, I'm not sure, we're drifting a little quicker now, so I don't know if I can hold it. I'll have a couple of drifts over it and we'll see how we go. All right, that's it for the fad for today. I don't know whether this has hooked up, but we just got a hit on the catchy catchy almost straight away. Let's see if this, what it is, it's definitely a fish. <laughs> but just hooked up, just come up to Wollongong Reef, just anchored up, dropped a little bit of burley, and dropped this catchy down. I reckon this is going to be a Sergeant Baker, and that's exactly what it is. <laughs> a sergeant bake yeah. again not what we're after but we're on the reef catching fish okay now this is not an eating fish but i'm actually going to keep him because uh, i might need some bait later so pop him in there he'll go for bait because I'm running out of pilchards. Let me just get it to the bottom, give her a couple of reels.
get her off the bottom so we don't get snagged and we're holding bottom pretty nicely so that's good yeah everything's working okay cool that's all right the wind is actually quite nice oh, as you can see i think catchy's on again already let's have a look see what happens here There's something on it. There's something picking, I think. Yeah. We're getting rocked about quite a bit at anchor. Sit down, sit down and relax. So, I think we've got another nibble on the catchy. I don't know if it's gonna, could just be pickers. There's a lot of pickers about. I don't think it actually looks properly. And there's a nibble on the other rod too. Something's having a play, but not committing. Let's just wash those for a while. See if anything converts. Excuse the crunching. Having an apple. Quarter three, first thing I've eaten, to, eaten today. Put up a bit of a fight, I'd say that's a snapper. Nice bit of bend on the heavy rod there. Yep, that one's giving a bit of curry, taking some drag off this big, big reel. Excited to see what this is. I would say a snapper. I don't think I've got my. Oh, see some colour coming up. I don't think I've got my. Uh... Oh, <laughs> it's actually a kingfish. What's that kingfish doing here? Well, and I've got the other one going off. Let's see if I can pick this in. See if I can lift this in. It's all going on here. And double hookups, probably another kingy. Oh. Now this one's really got some go to it. And this is on the catchy. Uh, lighter rod, so it could be a fish of a similar size. But kingies on the reef here. It's most peculiar. Whoa! He wants to go. Might have to tighten him up a bit. But I don't want him hitting the bottom. to see what this is. I've got to get my net too, which isn't ready. Oh. 
Yep, it's another kingy. Probably a little bit smaller than the one on the big rod. Let's see if I can lift him in. Rather than use my net. I think he's ready. Here we go. Got him in. Two, two kingies. How cool is that? All right, one spat the hooks. Spat the hook on the bigger rod. Let's have a look at him. There you go. Here's kingfish number one. Must have had a school of them come through. So, kingfish. Uh, size we have on kingies. Yellow tail kingfish, 65 centimeters. This one goes 52. Nowhere near big enough, but such good fun. Really good fun catching these things. Okay, he goes back. And then the second one, which was on the catchy, the Berkeley catchy catchy, with a few squid tentacles on the hooks. Let's have a look how he goes. Second kingfish. He measures, ah, oh, he's actually bigger. He measures 57. There you go, another rat kingy. See ya, mate. I might set this net up. Where is it? Under here. The kingies are about. Let's get this net ready. Well, that was a bit intense for a while there. Okay, right. Let's get this back out. Like I say, this was just a Berkeley catchy catchy with just a couple of squid tentacles on the hooks there. Let's drop that back down. Let's see if there's any more down there. First one was on a snap bait tackle again, just with a bit of squid on the bottom on the hooks, just for some scent attractant. Let's get that back down. Something pecking away. Needs to go and have a proper go. Just loosen this drag a bit because I tightened that ride up when the kingy took took off on me. Something having a peck at it. Just be a little one. Just reel this soft plastic in. Give that one another throw out, let it waft around. Yep, definitely something inquiring there on the on the catchy. Bob that back out. Let that drift around. There's something on it. 
give the burly a bit of a pump. And again, only a smaller fish this time. I don't know, it's probably a probably a sergeant baker or something. It was inquiring a little bit before it took. It bent the rod a fair bit, but uh, it's only a small fish. Oh, it's a wrasse. There we go. This this is one of the picking picking species that uh, plague you a little bit sometimes. Oh. You know, I've heard people say that these are good eating. Um, and they don't, they fall off. They don't, they don't go back in the water very well because they tend to blow their bombs out like this, but I'm not gonna keep him. I'll put him back. Hopefully he's okay. So you can see, from the, the catchy catchy that I've been using, the pickers have basically destroyed all of the tassels that are on on it. They've come around, they've just nibbled away at that. Um, and then eventually, you know, they'll commit to the bait and, uh, and you pull them in. But yeah, they, they tend to plague you a little bit and destroy your lures. again if it hooks up yep and the fish on it's gonna be another little one probably another wrasse or something like that it's not putting up a fight at all so it's only gonna be a small one what have we got it's another wrasse Very pretty fish, nasty teeth. Don't even think about it. There's a bird here trying to get the squid on the hook. Maybe he doesn't go for it. So I don't know if he's going to get him to open his mouth. I hope you can see the teeth in there. Wicked things. Throw him back. Down he goes. What have it? I had the camera switched off. Um, just took another bite. Um, oh, it feels a bit heavier, but it's not really fighting, so I don't think it'll be anything decent. And oh, it is. Right, let's bring that in because I am not 100% sure what that is. So, caught them before. Oh, very spiky. I've caught these things before on the reef. Um, anybody watching this and wants to make comments as to what species of fish that is, I'd very much appreciate it because, yeah, I'm not sure. I could have a look on there, but nah, you tell me, okay? Anyway, he's going back. get a hit while I'm burly. <laughs> Again, little things. See if he takes it properly. Let's see if he's hooked up.
Yep. It's just a little fella. Certainly getting more hook ups on the catchy, uh, but it's smaller hooks, a little bit of a more timid presentation. But I'm also picking up the bycatch on that, so it's keeping me busy. We're catching fish, but it's not really anything that we're taking home with us. Teeth on this wrasse. Another little pretty wrasse. Beautiful blue coloration here on the head. They're absolutely gorgeous. Anyway, going back. What I've also got for Burley is a mix up of chicken pellets, um, some tuna fish oil, some cat food, anything oily and smelly. Um, and then I just package them into these little little sort of bomb size uh, uh, sealy bags so I can just pop those into the burly bucket and they just slowly dissolve and just gentle sort of waft of burly uh, downstream of the boat um, be nice for them to bring on something a bit more attractive but keep chucking it in we'll get something good soon We've changed spots a little bit, I've just moved, uh, anchored in another spot, I think, I don't know, maybe not, did have a fish on, and I think he's come off. Let's see if there's any bait left. Oh, he's baited me. She's looking a little bit worse for wear, I must say. The skirt's gone. I think I've got some replacement skirts, so that's okay. Can just put another skirt on it when we get home. I think I have a little fish on here. It's been bobbing up and down for a while, but you know, it's just gonna be a little Sergeant Baker or a wrasse or something. Oh, it's a different species again, but again, a tiny little reef picker. And I suppose that's what happens when you use the smaller baits spikes on them. There we go. A little stripey thing. I don't know, do they call these grunters or something? I'm not sure. Anyway, back he goes. There you go. That's something off the bottom. It's a bit bigger. I don't think it's going to be anything necessarily that we want. Um, yeah, putting up a little bit more of a fight, but not much. It's only going to be a little fish. How do we got another type of wrasse? <laughs> surprise, surprise. I think it's a. Mm. 
bit of a lost cause this this reef spot I think a lot of pickers here blowing his bomb out again look there he goes hopefully he's all right